Hi, Christy at the Rady Kitchen, and today we're going to make a recipe out of our cookbook called 101 Recipes for Bananas. Today I'm going to make banana split cheesecake squares. The ingredients you'll need to make the banana split cheesecake is three 8 ounce packages of cream cheese softened, two cups of graham cracker crumbs, that's about 14 whole graham crackers that have been crushed, a third cup margarine or butter melted, a teaspoon of vanilla, a cup of sugar that we'll divide later, three eggs and a half cup of mashed bananas, and then for later decoration we'll need a cup of half strawberries, a banana that we're going to toss with lemon juice, and some chunked pineapple. So the first thing we want to do is mix our crushed graham crackers with the butter. So in a bowl. Now to crush graham crackers, I put them in a, a Ziploc bag and I take the rolling pin and I crush them up. And to your crushed graham crackers, you're going to add the third cup melted butter. Now to the graham cracker and butter mix, you're going to add a fourth cup of your cup of sugar. On the recipe it said sugar divided, and that's what it means. You're not going to use the whole cup at once. So to this, we're going to add a fourth cup. Now we're going to put our crumbs into a 9 by 13 baking pan. And then you want to uh, press it into the bottom of the pan. So now that we have our graham cracker crust pressed into our 9 by 13 pan, um, I have my oven preheating to 350, and now we're going to make the cheesecake filling. So in a mixer, you will add the three 8 ounce packages of the cream cheese. And then you're going to add the rest of your sugar, the three-fourths cup, and a, a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to mix that so it's all mixed really well. Now we're going to add our three eggs. I like to add them one at a time to just gradually just tell they're well blended, not over beat. Now to make it a banana split, we're going to add our half cup of mashed bananas. Really ripe bananas work best when you have to mash them for recipes like that. All right, now we'll mix these in. So once the bananas are all blended in, we're going to pour it into our pan with the graham cracker crust. And now you'll put this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes until the center is almost set. So my cheesecake is baked. I let it cool. I put it in the refrigerator for three hours or overnight. And I'm going to put the toppings on. You can put all the toppings over the whole cake or what you can do like I'm going to do. I'm going to do an individual slice. So first you'll need a banana that's sliced. To 
keep the bananas from getting brown, I'm going to put them in a bowl with some lemon juice. Set that aside. And I'm going to put some fresh pineapple. I'm going to use the French chef knife. It's really sharp. Cuts that top off easily. Cut the bottom off. Slice it in half. Now, um, pineapple has a hard core in the middle that you don't want to eat. So what I'm going to do is cut the half into three. And I'm going to cut down the core. Make sure you get all the core out. And then I'm going to go around and cut off I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to cut off the outside. Maybe go halfway through and then come back, go the other half. And then I'm going to, depending on how big you want the pieces, you could cut it again. And there's your cut up pineapple. Then I'm going to slice some strawberries. Okay, so what you could do is put this over your whole cheesecake or you can do individual slices. So first you do the whipped cream. Banana. Couple slices of pineapple. A strawberry slice. And you can top it off with a cherry. And then I'm going to top it off with some chocolate syrup. That's the banana split cheesecake. The recipes in the banana, 101 recipes using bananas cookbook it has everything from appetizers, beverages, main dishes, and desserts.